people have asked me, are there any good studies when it comes to masking kids genre? And I will say that the kind of gold standard study that I'm looking for is a cluster randomized control trial. It was feasible, it was practical, it was ethical, we really ought to have done it. We didn't do it, there was zero done globally. In the absence of that, the next best thing we have is probably a study that came out in the last couple of weeks from Spain. And it is a type of study design we call regression discontinuity. There's something unique about Spain. Three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and five-year-olds don't have to mask. Six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and eight-year-olds do. Five years old and 10 months for six-year-old and one month, there's a difference there. And that difference isn't the numerical age, the difference is a change in policy. And so you can leverage this for a really nice type of analysis. That's called regression discontinuity. You ask, what is the rate of spread, the R coefficient in three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, and guess what? It goes up with age, of course, because it spreads more at older ages. And then when you get from five to six, you should see the effect of masking policy. In a classic regression discontinuity design, you'll see a step down in the R coefficient or the cases per 100,000 representing the mask effect. Now, of course, there's some purists who argue about some more sophisticated methods, but I would say that if you're looking for a credible linear relationship between masking and spread of SARS-CoV-2, you'll see a classic step down. And the Spanish investigators looked across a huge data set, across many, many classrooms, and they didn't suffer from all the selection biases that we suffer from, and they leveraged this fact that five years and 10 months, they're not doing it, and six years and two months, they are doing it. And when they did that in the regression discontinuity design, they found no step down. In fact, you can hardly tell. And if nobody told you and you looked at the graph, you wouldn't be able to guess what age they started masking. What does that tell you? I think it's much more plausible that the intervention has almost negligible effect size. I mean, it very likely has a negligible effect size because cloth masking in Bangladesh in a cluster randomized trial had a pretty much zero effect size for that type of mask. And if you start to have a mask mandate at a very young age where compliance is low and it can get wet, et cetera, et cetera, the effect size is gonna diminish to the point where it's gonna be undetectable. And that's what the Spanish study shows. And I think it fits most of our priors. It's a sensible study. It's a well done study. It's probably the best study we will get for the time being. But, you know, since this is such a salient issue, there really is a push for definitive randomized controlled trials. And I suspect in the near future, cases may go up again in all these districts that have peeled back their mandates. Of course, the only thing and the first thing you're gonna think about is masking kids, because that's what you do when you're a politician. You take your photo next to magic, but you make the kiddo mayor them wear the mask. You know, that's what you do when you're a politician. It's politician 101, if you're not very good at the job, but it's politician 101, apparently. Um, I, would sus I would suggest, instead of doing this kind of stuff, and you, if you want to re-implement the policy, do it in a cluster randomized fashion. CDC can run it. It should accrue very quickly because I think a lot of places will participate. And if it's as good as people think, it'll yield a result. But I suspect it will be halted for futility. And I think that's what you would find when you look at the Spanish data. It's a great study. I'll put a link to it below. I will post my little figure trying to explain regression discontinuity design. It's a nice way to leverage the data. And they can do it in Spain, of course, because, you know, they're sane people. They don't mask kids under the age of uh, six. You know, they follow the WHO guidelines. We are zealots in this country. We've always been zealots. If a little is good, a lot is better. And our AAP and CDC go down to two. That's a difference between us and Spain. The difference between having some common sense and zealotry. So those are my thoughts. That's a, video, that's a, that's a study that you should take a look at.